today. What else we got? What are we up to? Uh, probably new releases. Let's do it. Are there any new releases? None that I've heard of, except for The Sims 4, some DLC. And there's a Zorro game? <laughs> there's a Zorro game. Zorro there's the a, Chronicles. Is it like the old PC game? Because I had Zorro and Conan the Barbarian. They were essentially the same game. Commodore 64? I had them on the Apple IIc. But, you know, I'm sure it was the Probably same not game. that, I'm thinking. You don't think so? I'm saying this one. I hope it's the same. It should be. <laughs> It wasn't very advanced. So, neither am I. Okay. Any new uh, releases? Uh, uh, coloring Book? Uh, I don't know any about, anything about Coloring Book, but um, Frogun looks interesting. Frogun looks like a N64 type of uh, graphics on a 3D like platformer, but your gun is a frog. That's, mm. that's Frogun. What about this uh, Digimon game that cost $60? Digimon Survive? Yeah. Is that, why is that a full price game? Uh, well, maybe it's fantastic. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I'm asking. That's how I the mean, company we're... survive, charging $60. I mean, I'm sure it's, I, people like Digimon, right? I, I think they did. I don't think there's been Digimon in quite some time, or do I just, am I not in the loop? Probably still I'm big not... in Japan. It's probably one of those things. I don't know. I don't either. What else? Uh, there's a new uh, Xenoblade Chronicles out. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Uh, I know about that. Do you? Yep. You've heard about that one? I only know it because Best Buy had some affiliate. Got thing. it. Yeah. So I'm, is that I'll the pick most, up that is, one. Is that the biggest price game of the week? There's the special edition at $90? Is that... Well, and I think that's the edition that's like basically impossible to get that Nintendo keeps putting up and Thorbond keeps posting about and it sells out immediately. Wait, which one? Um, which one? The, the collector's Xenoblade edition. Chronicles 3, like the collector's edition uh, okay. of that. Um, but I've, I've played the other Xenoblade Chronicles games. Probably, I don't think I played the second one to completion, but uh, they're good RPGs. I could I could be down for that. Nice. Yeah, that's I, it's supposed to be long. I saw it was long. Sh- sure, those are those games are uh, meant to be long. So, I think uh, I mean, Switch at least has some stuff here that's better than the rest of these new release uh, lists. Right. Not a whole lot, a lot going on here. Should we move on to Wombat's fortnightly news? Let's do it. Let me hear about Fortnite news. Uh, no huge news, probably more stuff next Whew. week, because there'll be big updates next week. Uh, some drips and drabs about what might be coming up potentially for next season is already starting, because we're a little over a month away from the next season. Uh, first person mode, Chiefy, what do you feel? How do you feel about first person mode in Fortnite? So it's pretty hard. I mean, that might, uh, you know, you, you talk about like the skins not mattering in first person mode. So there's that. But it's also very hard to make a good first-person mode. It's easy to make a first-person mode, but it's hard to make a good one. So I, I 100% agree. Apparently, but they've been working on it for two years. They can do it. I'm sure they can make it feel good. They have certainly the resources. I wouldn't... If anybody could do it, they could do it, for sure. Yeah. And also, I think they agree with you with the what if skins... People don't see their skins that much anymore. Right. So they are going to have... Their other rumor is with first-person mode comes charms. Weapon charms. So but that's boring. Anything. Nobody likes it's, that. I don't like that at all. I see? still prefer my third person mode where you could see it. Doesn't mean I won't check out first person mode, but I don't think it's going to be my motto right. to. Right. And the, you, you can't be in third person mode and play somebody in first person mode. That wouldn't be I fair. Don't, I don't think so. I think it's going to be a separate mode. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to be a whole, its own thing. All right. Yeah. Uh, so. What do we got for news that's not? From Fortnite. Uh, speaking of news that's not Fortnite, but in the same vein as Fortnite, is that Call of Duty is bleeding millions of players, according to Kotaku. Uh, that they have millions fewer players than they had uh, previously. Uh, in the end of March of 2021, they had 150 million active users, and now it's down to 94 million active users. 
So they got bored. I guess so. They're playing table tennis now. Is that what it is? Is no. it that there apparently there's been issues with their what, what's that game called? The Call of Duty one, Warzone. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, there have been delays and bugs and issues. Uh, People don't necessarily like that it crossovers too much into the new games that they don't want to own the new game to get stuff for their okay. Warzone game or however that works. Sure, because now you feel like you're playing some half-ass shit. You're, you yeah. know, unlike Apex where it's just one version. Everybody's playing now, the same free game. I'm going to put my little tinfoil hat on for a second. Mm-hmm. Do you think that there's some intention to having the player base drop? No. So the to help with the, uh, the Microsoft purchase so they could say, look, this isn't a monopoly. Call of Duty isn't a behemoth. <laughs> Call of Duty it's- sucks. It called no, duty sucks. No, it's no, not no. doing it's not doing as well as it used you're, to. No. How but, can you not let this go through? No. 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 Cuz you're you're per, you're you would be purposely shooting your yourself in the foot then too like by harming the franchise that you're trying to buy. I'm just saying I mean nah. No. Crazy things have happened. No. I'm not saying it's what I believe or maybe it is. Right. I think they out. just fucked up. I think also I mean look Activision has been fucking up a lot for the last couple of years. And so why not fuck this up too? They have no, they have like no, I had a news story somewhere about like, you know, their financials are not great because they have, and they blamed it on, you know, they blamed it on the, on the recession, mm-hmm. but it's like, you have no new games that are coming out. The, no new games, no real IPs. They, they've been putting out very, very few things a year. You know, Diablo they that model down. They got the Diablo cell phone game and everything else is just like the Call of Duty cycle and <laughs> I mean I don't know we talked about how they suck. Yep, and then there was the conversation that Shipwreck and I had yesterday. We know how to save Activision. How? Oh, Skylanders. The answer is Skylanders. I've been playing a lot of Sky so I uh you may be able to see some of it in the background here. I can. Uh, we we got out all the Skylanders because Dashiell had never seen, and Emily had never played Skylanders before either. Uh, so we got them all out and and introduced them to the world of Skylanders, and it is just as magical as it ever was. Right, like they they are in there, they're enjoying playing the games because the games were good to begin with, and them they're like they anytime you get to an area where it's like wind power is or wind is more powerful in this area. They're like both like jumping out of their seats to go run and find a wind character and put it on there. It's funny um, how it's a lot more fun when you have all the fucking pieces. Well, that's what it's like playing inside of Toys R Us. Yeah. yeah. They <laughs> should. If they're going to remaster a game, they should remaster. I said at minimum, the Skylander, the first three games called the Skylander trilogy remastered sell that in stores sixty dollars includes you could even all... s- you could even sell some figures with that and and like, have you don't have to every... go crazy but like a memorable uh, like you know a statue not a not a yeah and every character is unlocked on the disc unlocked all the dlc all the characters you don't have to purchase any toys you just you know i don't know hold hold down the select button and you know if they could do it with those lego games where they could have a hundred characters on the screen at once impossible from, they, they, they can't do that anymore 78 they lost the is code the limit. for that 78 yeah. is the limit I heard. yeah exactly <laughs> then they could easily do that in skylanders and you could be like oh you need a win character here you hold down the y button select your win character and there he is and you have your choice of any of them there would be replay value there would be people who would want to play it with the characters that they could never afford to own at the time coming to game pass i'm telling you there would be such a market for there would be such a market for this that and as shipwreck mentioned the other day and i agree i think there's a mar- it, Sh- skylanders characters are marketable outside the game as well as the game itself that there's a world where kids would just want a uh, 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 whatever his name is, uh, the guy with the two gun hands as a toy. Trigger happy. Yeah, trigger happy. Kids <laughs> would want a trigger happy toy without it having to be tied to a video game. They love uh, certain, certainly gun yeah. toys. Yeah, you know what I yeah. Mean. <laughs> Kids love it. Or the tree, the tree, the giant tree guy. You know, there's stuff. 
Thwomp Stomp? No, that's not his name. What's his name? Womp Stump? Womp Stomp, I think. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. Oh, my he, God. He hasn't... He hasn't... Uh, the kids haven't gravitated towards Tree Guy yet. Yeah. Well, you know, what do they know? Right. But uh, I'm just but saying... But it is amazing, like, how how poorly Activision, like, they just milked that, right? They didn't think of the long term. They're just like, how much money can we make off of this today? Right now. Like, we have to strike on this right now. Whereas you had an IP there that was your your competition to Pokemon. I mean, we get, we're getting a new Digimon game this week. Like, it should still be a thing. Cash like, cow. It should, it should be a cash like, cow, not just a thing. Yeah. Right. And, and yeah. instead, it had to be this toys to life thing. And that was never going to last forever. No, they could have weaned it away, right? Like, mm-hmm. they didn't have to, like, just, like, drive it completely into the ground and take down Toys R Us with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but that's the the Kodak Activision was basically, it's like all or nothing. It's like, all right, we got to put everything into Call of Duty and just, like, Skyland is just not quite up at the, I, to the I Call of Duty level. I feel the same level. way with, like, Guitar Hero and stuff, too, right? Like, I've been thinking about getting that stuff back out. Of course, there's a well, space for it's that. It's fun. It's but they just killed it. Like they just like went at it like a million miles an hour right. and just saturated it so much that it just killed the entire like. There's no music genre anymore <laughs> of games. Like that's just gone. No Toys R Us. No music genre. Activision's fucked up a lot of shit for us. Think about yep. it. Yep. 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 Uh, I've been playing uh, Cyberpunk. I read on Twitter, like, it's all patched up, and now it's, like, one of the best games, like, that's come out in the last few years. And I, I had, tried to play it again. I, I mean, what did you think? Well, I had played, like, mm, six hours or so before. Okay, So yeah. I'm not quite up to Keanu Reeves. And now, oh, you like, didn't get to him. Okay. But now I did. The game is better once he's there. Sure. You're like, you're yeah. like, hey, it's him. I, I, yeah, it's him. This is this is. It's still a lot of. I I think it's an issue of again. It's, I know you're talking, GP. So it's okay. If you want to interrupt? No, me, go ahead. Um, I think I have a problem with open world games where there's driving, because they're not driving games. So when you ho- ever you hop in a car, you're immediately reminded that you're not playing a driving game. And you're just trying to get to the next mission and the driving kind of sucks and is never fun. Like I have the same issue with the watchdogs games also, even GTA in a way where it's never quite the it's passable, but it's never good. And I think the other parts of the games that should be better suffer because they're investing so much in this open world where all it is, is driving around. Meanwhile, in like the that eight or nine hour mark, there's it's not open world at all. It's just like I'm not doing anything, and like the story is so like drawn out, and like you just I know Wombat, you will skip through everything anyway, but I try not to. But it's like really takes a lot of willpower. You're going to all those oh, like yeah, VR no, places, right? Like trying to solve some uh, that was the some beginning of the game mystery or something. Yeah. That was yeah, but it, it just the the for, it keeps going for that even up to the point like the whole Keanu Reeves part, like. I'm like, wh- I was actually like, when am I going to get to drive? Like, I thought this was an open world game. And then, and like, I got to say, like, when, you know, like, it's about eight hours until the credits, until the, uh, not the credits, the title screen comes on. I knew what you meant. That is the least, like, enthusiastic title screen. It just, like, it was, like, like, crank, like the um, accordion Jurassic Park theme. It, like, it just spilled out onto the screen. <laughs> Yeah, it was just like, well, you're playing this game. Now, remember, it was like, I was like, oh, man, this it does not seem that this game is one of the best games to come out in the last several several years. And I just, even like the, set, the shooting the set and stuff. The pieces are, are good. But the like, shooting I, is not as good as any like real first person shooter. It It's not. But I think, I mean, visually, it's good. The The story, the atmosphere is good. In that game, yeah, the story is not good. The story, it, it could be better. The open world stuff. I mean, I haven't played this game in in a year it, and a half, maybe. It's but the, just the not what I open wanted. world stuff is there's not enough interesting things to do. So I'm just trying to get to the next. When I was playing, I was just trying to get to the next story beat. 
Yeah, so that you like you don't want to live. You don't want to live in the world or drive of it. this of the yeah of this open world game. What's the last that's sort of the issue? Wombat. What's the last open world game that had good driving in it? I don't think there is one. I so I think I the think best, there is one. Okay, I was gonna say because I think the best open world games don't have driving in them, or the driving is optional or limited at best why what do you think it is saints row the third saints row, that that did have decent uh driving in it and it had really good car customization and the new saints row game is coming out this month now will they fuck it up like they did in the last saints row games by giving you alternate forms of transportation that root that make the cars like worthless yeah i wouldn't be surprised i'm sure they'll figure it out it looks good i mean it kind of looks good doesn't it? You watch any of that gameplay? I mean, it's coming out like in two weeks, I think. Remember when you could drive cars in Crackdown? That wasn't good. <laughs> that was just it's like, like I mean, a But it's like car. a whole thing. It's like yeah. when you think of good open world games, even the Far Cry games, there's the occasional, like you don't really drive in those. A, but yeah. yeah, like you don't have to. You could get through that whole game without ever driving because even they know the driving sucks and that it's really about the first person gun mechanics and clearing out those bases assassin's creed there's no driving <laughs> boat Fallout driving games no driving boat driving huh horse yeah. driving and boat horse, driving horse driving but it's not driving i was gonna car. say have assassin's creed games i I've, I've been out of the mix for a while have they gotten to the point where there's cars no it's all boats. horses horses and boats big boats and small boats but because the, there's something about with cars it has to be good or the whole game is just kind of sucks. Like if that's why there's an open know, world game like Saints yeah, Row. Yeah. Like so you're saying you're, what you're saying right now is that the new Saints Row game, I don't even know what it's called. What's the new Saints Row game? Just called Saints Row? Saints Row. If the driving is not good in that, then it's sort of like, what's the point? And I kind of agree because those games sort of were like, how close can we get to like a Forza without... You you know add what you can get out of the car and kill people, but that, I think that, a, that's that's a, like I'm, I mean I I wouldn't say it's quite to that level. No no I, no, 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 no. Just, to like a can we get close to like to a Need for Speed? Sure. Been like okay yeah. I meant the Forza like you know. But the, if the well, driving okay, in sure. your in your open world game can hold up to its own or be as fun as driving in a game that's dedicated to driving, right? Then fi- then either make your world smaller or get rid of the driving altogether. Jetpacks. Something, right? Yeah, it doesn't have to be as good as Forza, or you know, or like Spider Man and swinging. Need for Speed is good enough. It could be. Anyway, it should have let you drive cars in Spider Man. I mean, seriously, how? I mean, it just again goes right to my point. 